I'm Reverend Linda Button. I'm leader of the prayer ministry for St. Stephen. And we're here today with some fantastic information we wanna share. January is gonna be a focus all about fasting and prayer and how to increase our spiritual walk and life with God. And so today I have some marvelous guests. I wanna welcome Dr. Giovanni Rondo, host of the show, Healthy Mind, Body and Spirit. It airs on SSC Live TV. And then Diane Ulmer, She's our co-leader of the St. Stephen Church Prayer Ministry. So I thank you both for taking time to discuss St. Stephen's plans for a fresh start in 2023. We are so excited about the new year and we are claiming 2023 as our greatest year to be in the will of God, at God's feet, and seeking Him first for everything we need. It's about what we will be in 2023. So I'm excited to share one powerful way that you and I can have a closer walk with God. And it's through our upcoming Daniel fast that starts in January. This is a church-wide fast. So we're asking all members to participate for 21 days, starting January 1st through January 21st. When you give God your first through prayer and fasting at the beginning of the year, you set the course for the entire year. So our discussion today with Dr. Rondo will center around questions that members that you may have about the purpose and benefit of fasting. We know that by feasting on the word of God and allowing him to refresh us daily with both, on, with both the bread of life and the living water in 2023, we can experience many of the benefits that God provides in Psalm 23, mm -hmm. like having a stronger relationship with God, allowing him to supply our needs and finding rest, refreshment, and healing for our souls. And then we can focus more on the positives of the Daniel fast, what we will be gaining and not on what we are not eating for the next 21 days. Fasting is not so much about what you give up, but what you give to yourself. I'm going to ask Diane now to share with you what the Daniel fast is. The 21 day Daniel fast is a biblically based partial fast. Daniel refused to eat unhealthy foods and he committed to fast and pray for 21 days. He also faithfully bowed down in praise and prayer three times every day as noted in Daniel 6 and 10. As a result, he experienced renewed energy, vitality, better health, and a stronger relationship with God. And we can too. Fasting and prayer are spiritual disciplines provided to strengthen our spirit and to weaken our flesh. It's a spiritual act of worship. Basically, the Daniel fast is a vegan diet, mainly fruits and vegetables. We have a graphic that we can show that gives a snapshot of foods to eat and what to drink on the fast. So here's a snapshot of the foods for the Daniel fast. And you can see that they're predominantly fruits and vegetables. Just about all fruits and vegetables are included. The complete list is there, but they're also listed some legumes, some beans, some peas, some lentils that you can eat as well. And then also some liquids are, are listed, water, vegetable juice, fresh fruit juice, coconut milk, and almond milk. Certainly our bodies are affected as our diet is changed. Dr. Rondo, from a medical perspective and in general, how does fasting affect our body as we move from an unrestricted diet after the holidays to participating in a 21 day fast in January? Yes, wonderful question. And uh, first and foremost, um, as a physician, I have to say that before starting the fast, please get approval from your medical professional, whether it's a, a physician, nurse practitioner, or physician's assistant, um, because different people have different needs. Children, of course, we hold off on any children participating in the fast, uh, pregnant moms, um, probably would need to hold off on the fast as well, and if you have certain medical conditions, but please get approval first and foremost. The first, so this fast is just so exciting, it yes, really it is. is, and I've actually done it a couple of times myself, so um, I can you know, speak from a medical perspective, but also a personal perspective. 
But um, from just a medical perspective, there is going to be a change in your metabolism, particularly over the first couple of days. Um, as your body gets adjusted to going from, you know, eating lots and lots of different, maybe highly processed foods, uh, meats and whatnot, to having none of that, having uh, very fresh uh, uh, foods, fruits, vegetables, legumes that are basically coming from the earth. And so um, some people may feel a little bit of maybe a little bit of fatigue, um, headaches, leg cramps. Um, so and everyone is different. But again, start with, you know, asking your medical professional and staying, keeping them abreast of, you know, your symptoms overall, if they are pretty significant. As we detox from things like sugar, Yes. which most of us are, are going to be guilty of. And also caffeine, you know, those symptoms may be uh, exacerbated somewhat. So, but again, fatigue, leg cramps, headaches, um, just a little bit of, you know, uh, other symptoms that people may ex experience as well. And then after the 21 days, we generally believe that new habits can be formed. So that's why it's important to try to stick with the 21 days. But even if people fall off the wagon, give yourself grace. Yes. Okay. Thank so you yeah. For grace, God. Yes. Yes. Thank God for grace. Yes. We need grace. Well, I have a question also, yeah. Dr. Rondo. The Dana Fest closely resembles a vegan or plant-based diet with just a few more restrictions. You know, no meats. We know we eat no meats, no sweets, breads, or yeast-based foods. No alcoholic beverages. No Splenda or coffee. So no dairy, meaning no cheese or milk and no processed food. So participants would need to be able to read the lab labels on mm -hmm. foods to see if it can be eaten on the fast. From a medical perspective, what are some of the advantages of restricting these foods from a diet for 21 days? Yes, there are so many benefits to restricting the very highly processed uh, foods that we tend to eat, the fast foods that we eat, they tend to, for the most part, cause a lot of inflammation. Yes. And that can contribute yes. to a lot of health uh, issues like uh, being overweight, having high blood pressure, diabetes. Not to say that when you restrict these completely that all those things would go away, but we do um, see a decrease in, in the inflammatory markers within our body. So an inflammation is a big cause or it's a, it's a big issue when it comes to things like arthritis, diabetes, and also things like high blood pressure. So um, eliminating a lot of the, you know, those items would really help you with those conditions. And so what I like to really focus on is just look at this plethora of, of, of items that we have here. We talk about being restricted, but we really have so many different options, which are, you know, we are focused on here. So a couple other things that we also see when it comes to a plant-based, for the most part, plant-based vegan diet or regimen is weight loss. And it's not something that is really focused on with the Daniel Fast because the Daniel Fast is really more focused on being spiritually uh, yes. more attuned. Yes. So it's not just the physical. The physical is a byproduct, but we really want to focus on um, how we're getting closer yes. uh, to God overall, uh, reading and feasting on his word. Mm -hmm. Refreshing As, ourselves. Exactly. Refre yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and and really kind of not partaking in the foods that would um, really not just contribute to inflammation, but kind of cloud us to a certain degree. Because one of the things that, and we may all note that after, especially after Thanksgiving, who after we've eaten all that food, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. You want to sleep. Yes. And that's because the body is very um, busy in terms of now it has to focus on digesting all of that. So it has to use a lot of energy, a lot of blood, a lot to digest that. So it takes things away from your brain. So, so, so it can contribute to sleepiness or somnolence. And so what we find when we don't eat those types of foods, especially in large portions, that we have potentially more mental clarity. So that is something that potentially um, would be beneficial to us. Who wouldn't want more mental clarity? Absolutely. You know, just overall being able to think more clearly, have more energy, um, those types of things. But again, it's really focused more on being more spiritually attuned and um, feasting on the word. Yes.
Yes. So yes. Can we just talk quickly about some of the foods that we have here that might be beneficial? That why they're beneficial? Yes. You know, I know that we have all we have Daniel Fast's fruits and vegetables. <laughs> so we have our bananas yes. here. We have our avocados, fresh avocados that we can make. Yes, I'm so glad that you mentioned those first because one of the things that I see a lot in my practice um, that I've seen for years, especially within our community, is high blood pressure. And so both bananas and also avocados are very rich in potassium. And so we kind of want to avoid a lot of sodium or salt. And potassium is the counteractor, no, it's not a word, but for the sodium or the salt. As long as your kidneys can tolerate it, okay. you should be able to, and again, you may need to you know, talk with your primary care physician, nurse practitioner, or physician assistant mm -hmm. about that. Um, but, um, but having a high potassium kind of regimen is beneficial to help with blood pressure. Now that's not to say that you can't, st you shouldn't still take your yeah, blood you pressure medications, um, but those foods are particularly rich in potassium. So it's avocados, bananas, apricots. I don't think we have any of those here. Um, some oranges oh, also. Yeah. Um, so those are things that are, are, they're very, very good when it comes to high blood pressure. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Yes. And so I noticed that we also have lots of like sweet potatoes and we mm -hmm. have some White potatoes. White potatoes, favorites. yes, yes, yeah, okay. We can use those onions that I think we brought here. Uh -huh, the onions, and, yes. And we didn't bring our green peppers and stuff that we could actually bake those and put them in the oven and drizzle a little olive oil yes. or something on them. And they're yummy. Delicious, delicious. <laughs> and use our spices. So yes. So some of the good spices that we have. Then. Yeah, so we've got just a plethora of, of really great spices. And one of the things that I've realized, especially when I did the Daniel Fast, the first and a couple of times that I've done it, is it just opened up the door to being able to cook in a, a different way, mm -hmm. but to make foods that taste so good, but in a different way. So one of my favorite things to do is to take uh, sweet potatoes and also regular potatoes, cut them up, okay. drizzle, olive oil, just a little bit of maybe sometimes turmeric, wow. and um, a little, which is actually a really great anti-inflammatory um, uh, um, spice. Mm -hmm. So that is great. Yes. And actually, that's one of the things that we now have found in our studies that may actually help with arthritis mm -hmm. is turmeric. So yes, yeah, so yeah, all, of, all of us who may have some issues with arthritis, mm -hmm. get you some turmeric and add that to your dietary regimen. Good. So, um, but yeah, so, so we have all kinds of really great spices, cilantro, we've got some basil, we've got salt-free seasoning for those of us who have high blood pressure, that's really important. Now, there is one seasoning that's up here, and one of the things that I, we really want people to do is become label readers. That's something, you know, that's something yes. that I found that I needed to do because you really have to avoid certain things like the sugars and the yeast or whatnot. So, we love seasoned salt. Yes. We love our seasoned salt, but unfortunately, during the Daniel fast, this is one of the ones that we will not be able to utilize because it has sugar. Okay, so we really have to actually read the labels with this. So, that's so yes, clearly on the label. So that's a, mm -hmm. yes, you know, yes, no yes. But sugar. there's so many other things. There's so many alternatives. Yeah. Um, to, um, to to that, so we need to kind of open up our palates and you know be um, a little bit um, experimental mm -hmm. and kind of see what tastes good, you know, to our palates and 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 just the benefit mm -hmm. of it, not only physically but also, like we said, like spiritually. The clarity, um, the clarity so. is 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 just amazing. But I'm so happy that one of the things that we're doing that that we really focus on again is truly reading the word. And I know that we have a whole regiment yes. that we're going to follow for from day one all the way oh, to right. day 21. And I'm glad you raised that because mm -hmm. we will have a calendar that you're going to receive for the whole month of January. In particular, those 21 days, you will have a scripture reading and a prayer focus. And in addition to that, the blessing is the prayer ministry are going to videotape that prayer for that particular day. And you will receive that, you know, via email or on social media that you can go along with. And then you can pray your own prayer, definitely. That's because that's the purpose. That's what we want you to do and mm -hmm. read the scripture for yourself. But this is just a little support in addition mm -hmm. uh, to encourage you to stay on point. But Dr. Rondo, you mentioned when we talk about the 21 day Daniel fast and you mentioned earlier about those life changing habits really takes about 21 days. It does. And so it is a blessing for all of us to, this is an opportunity 
And really I, I personally is. say it's an opportunity for me because I have some of those ailments you've already talked about mm -hmm. that is caused by inflammation. Yes. And so this is a blessing and it's a blessing and an opportunity to have a support. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, that others are doing it. We can encourage one another as we participate. Absolutely. So that. And that's one of the things that's one of the th excuse me that I found when I did it the very first time, which was the hardest time for me. This was mm -hmm. probably about eight, nine years ago. Okay. And to be honest with you, when I did the Daniel fast, I wanted something. You know, I wanted God to fix the situation and I wanted God to change the situation. And boy, did he change it. Change it. <laughs> he changed it. He actually changed me. Oh, praise God. He really Thank did. You. And so even though I was still in a certain situation, mm -hmm. I was stronger. I was mm -hmm. better. I was closer to him. Uh, and had more clarity of the vision that he had for my life, truly. And so, but, and I didn't just, of course, do it on my own. Mm -hmm. I had a group with me of two of my wonderful prayer partners mm -hmm. who helped, we all helped each other through it. So we read scripture, uh, we were there for each other. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I do, I go to Sam's and I get things in bulk. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't eat it all. So what I was able to do is actually share it with some of my partners. Right. And so we all did it together. Yeah. So we would make stews together mm -hmm. uh, or we, you know, I would make a big stew and maybe someone else. And so that allowed for the variety, you know, during the fast, but also the support, support. because it is hard. Yeah. It's a hard it's fast hard. to follow strictly. Mm -hmm. But when you, when you have God, you know, when you're mm -hmm. following Christ, he helps and then he provides other people yeah. to help. And so the, I think that's wonderful that we are gonna do that all together yeah. and be supportive to each other. Yes, so well, that's mm -hmm. representative of our connection with Christ, yes. with the cross, and then the vertical, and then the horizontal is yes. one another. Mm -hmm. And so you made a good suggestion. We should reach out once you start with your, your team, your prayer partners, and, and talk about the things you're gonna eat, talk about sharing your recipes and what yeah. you're doing. Create that enthusiasm and yes. encouragement for one, one another. It will be a blessing. I think we're going to move on to question. Another question, Diane, do you have one? Uh, yes. The uh, Daniel Fast has food alternatives in it so that we get our proteins, our carbohydrates, mm -hmm. calcium, and fats in our diet during the fast. Uh, beans are an alternative protein option. Yes. And fruits and veggies are... Uh, supplying our carbohydrates and veggies like broccoli are high in calcium and nuts and nut butters are sources of protein and, and fats as well. Do you agree that these alternatives are nutrient rich substitutes yes. to meet dietary requirements? Absolutely, for the most part. But again, um, people may have different nutritional um, deficiencies mm -hmm. and may need more supplementation accordingly. Mm -hmm. So your primary care physician would be probably one of the best people to just go over that, mm -hmm. especially if you have certain medical conditions. But for the most part, absolutely. Uh, the beans, and we do have that. We have yeah. black beans yeah. and we have uh, beans and um, red northern beans, beans, northern beans. beans. <laughs> I meant to actually bring um, the... Don't forget our nuts, so wal walnuts mm -hmm. and yes. almonds. All of those are great <laughs> nutritional uh, supplements. We also have the different butters, almond butter. Um, we have to be careful with regular um, peanut butter. Okay. Because it does have sugar in it. Okay. Yeah. So we, uh, but if you read the labels, if it is actually made without sugar, that's great. Okay. But we really have to be careful. And you know, one of the things, you know, and of course I'm a physician, but um, it surprised me by how much how many uh, items have sugar in them. Mm -hmm. So I became just a, an, a you know, wonderful label reader like I had never <laughs> been before when I was on the Daniel Fast initially. Mm -hmm. So it was very humbling, but it was like, okay. Yeah. But it just gave me so much uh, during that time. So I'm a, just a really big proponent you know, for doing the Daniel Fast and the, the benefits that we're all gonna see. Mm -hmm. So yes. Wonderful. Well, we have focused on the body yes. and the things that we eat. So we're gonna move to the mind, soul, and spirit. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Diana, I think you have a question there what the Bible teaches us. Uh, yeah, the Bible teaches us that we have a spirit and a soul along with our body. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Daniel fast is said to affect all three as we enter in a focused, a period of focused prayer and fasting. How might alternative dietary selections on the fast impact the wellness of our mind, soul, and spirit? Well, Dr. Rondo, you wanna take a step at it? I, I, I sure can. Um, we. As I kind of alluded to when we eat for Thanksgiving, particularly I think people can, there's a certain way that we feel, um, you know, more sluggish, more tired. And I think that the, the mind, body, 
and how food affects us is, is somewhat complicated. Um, and I believe that generally when we have, um, you know, feeling that heaviness, that's one way. Mm -hmm. But then when we are having food cravings can be mm -hmm. from, you know, certain things that we are going through maybe emotionally, yes. uh, physiologically, like when you're pregnant, you know, you may have certain food cravings. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, just certain, there's just all kinds of different, you know, ways that food affects our emotions mm -hmm. just overall. Um, so what we are really trying to do is kind of trying to put a little bit more of a handle on that by kind of saying, no, I'm, I'm going to allow my spiritual man to rule over my emotions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if yeah. I'm explaining no, that that well, perfect. but you okay. know, because with the mind, will and emotions, that's our soul. Mm -hmm. And so our soul will rebel against the diet. Mm -hmm. We don't want to make that change. And so it's an internal struggle that we have. It that's is. why we talked about it's a spiritual uh, exercise as opposed to to weaken our flesh because mm -hmm, our yes. flesh is trying to still be in control. Yes. So it's a battle. And so we're going to acknowledge that here, but you can win the battle yes. because we have the Holy Spirit that resides yes, in each man. of us. And when we surrender to the Holy Spirit, he puts He's in charge of our soul, mm -hmm, our mm -hmm. mind, and our body. He created us, right? Mm -hmm. So he will control our emotions, our cravings, and mm -hmm. even our frustrations. But don't lose focus on the purpose of the fast. Yes. The benefit is weight loss, but the greater benefit is a stronger walk with God. And the focus on prayer and Bible study and meditation. And as you eat food to nourish your body, we feast on this word mm -hmm. and the living word. Mm -hmm to let mm -hmm. it nourish our spirits. And so you wanna meditate on the word, study scripture. That's why you're gonna have the calendar that you can refer to. And so we, we're looking forward to that. So I think we want to summarize, Diane, with some um, resources that will be available uh, to guide our daily prayers and scripture readings during the fast. And so Diane's gonna tell us about some of those resources. Okay, sure. Uh, church members will be sent an email link to several resources to use during the fast. Uh, one will be the prayer calendar for January mm -hmm. with the scripture and focus to guide our daily prayers. We'll get a daily link with access to taped prayers to view, reflecting on the daily focus. There will be a Daniel fasting guide with details about the fast and even some recipes. And then there will be a food chart that can be used as a grocery list to help you get started with meal planning. And uh, also to provide- can, we, can I stop right there for a minute? Sure. Yep. Dr. Rhonda, you mentioned, and you mentioned this before, what's the importance of meal planning? Ooh, that is so vitally important. You want to really get ready for it. Mm -hmm. You want to be prepared because it's not an easy thing to do. We normally, you know, maybe go fast food restaurants or, or um, just have a little quick something, mm -hmm. but you really want to get prepared for it. So you want to get your items ready mm -hmm. and maybe even do some meal prepping, um, do some chopping, um, just get things ready so that you can, you know, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, mm -hmm. you know, already have your items, already have the recipes that you're going to cook yes. uh, three times a day. But you want to, especially if you're a busy professional, like, you know, most of us, we really need to prepare, you know, our, ourselves for it. So getting all your items ready, um, actually getting other people also. So if they know that you're going to be doing the fast, maybe they would either enjoy it with you or they can support you in it. Mm -hmm. um, getting your, um, you know, your vegetables chopped. I know one thing that um, I was big on was making sure that I could get things like this chopped up and put it in the freezer so okay. that when I'm ready to make that soup or to make, wow. um, you know, those, the roasted squash or whatnot, mm -hmm. I could just go ahead and pull it out. Okay. So yeah, so definitely getting prepared mm -hmm. is super, super important. So thank yeah. you for that. So yeah. one extra thing that Diane's gonna talk about, and this is a bonus thing for you this time that you can participate in as we go through the Daniel fast. Can you tell them about this item, Diane? Mm -hmm. Well, to provide additional support and physical activity for members, we have scheduled a prayer walk. It's called a walk with the flock. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, on January, Love that, <laughs> yes. January 7th, January 14th, and January 21st from 845 to 945 at the St. Stephen Family Life Center walking track. And so this will be an opportunity for members to pray and chat with each other as they walk. 
Yeah. Love so, that support. I know. Yes. That's, that's what we want to do. And it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. That will be fun. Will. Mm -hmm. Then we can come and agonize about how we're not being able to <laughs> eat our diet. I mean, our Coke and our <laughs> Snickers and yeah. whatever else. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it will be a fun time. So we're excited. We hope that you're excited about yes. the fast that's going to kick off January 1st, the 21 day Daniel yes. fast. Go ahead and start preparing now. We're going to be a healthy church. Mm -hmm. We're going to be spiritually mm -hmm. healthy, mind, body, and, and soul. Yes. God bless you all. Thank you for joining us.